Good morning. Today is September 23rd, 2022. And today I have an interesting game for you. Basically, it's not the best and it's not the worst either. Definitely middle grade. But I, I'm going to show it to you because it has a unique element that I think is unique uh, with my personality. I don't see anybody else doing it this way. So let me point to you some of the interesting consideration here. But before that, I have four puzzles for you. This is the first puzzle. What has just moved the bishop to g5? What should I do? Next, what has just captured bishop on g7? What should I do? Next, the knight has just moved to g5. What should I do? Next, the queen has just moved to g4. What should I do? All right, so uh, the title of this video is Using King as Bait, and that's what I did. Uh, basically, I purposely expose my king and invite white to attack me. And since white has the initiative, so it's really pretty gutsy move. And this is something I like to do from time to time, basically to, in order to train my tactical skills. So the positions is not something you can use pattern recognition for. So you really do have to calculate. So with that in mind, let's begin. The game starts off innocently enough with uh, my normal opening, but usually my pawn would move here, but I'm not going to do that because as you can see, there's one, two, and three attacking there. So I decided not to do that. This is more like of a distraction. And of course, what has advantage, but this is more like of distraction. I'm trying to distract white from completing its development. Did not seem to work. White develops nicely. You can see that extremely strong over here, extremely strong over here. Once what finished castling, and that's it, you know, like it's going to be very solid. Next move. Strangely enough, I does not castle at this point. I mean, I would have expected what castled within the first 10 moves. So I don't know what's going on here. And this is the end of the opening states. As you can see, white does not castle. So I wonder what's going on here. I decided to put a little push over here. And this is the start of my king gambits. Whereas instead of using pawns, I'm using the king. I'm using my king of way say, hey, I'm open. Yeah, like, I'm open here. Uh, go, go and come attack me, you know. So at this point, what has advantage right now? What can castle this way? And be relatively safe because as you can see, my pieces are right here. And what pieces are right here? So if what castle, queen side there, What's going to have a good game? And this is like really gutsy move over here. Next move.
and very gutsy move. This is like really, really tactical. This looks like a mistake by Black. As you can see, that's a fork, and this is. But this is not a mistake. This is puzzle number one. What should I do? That's my target, and that's my own fork. So that's the solution over there. And suddenly, I'm at. at uh, I'm okay over here. So. What advantage is gone? Just like that. Uh, here's another problem. Over here, it becomes open. So not only this, the previous pawn move is a gambit. This is really a gambit. This this is like in fighting white to fully attack my king. And as you can see, white has not castled yet. So something to think about over here. Next move. That's a free pawn. The truth is, I don't know whether that's a good move or not. The computer says it's okay, but as a human being, as a person, I don't know whether that's a good move because of the position that basically it's it just opens up what's avenue to attack. So this is uh, a gambit. Uh, this is a gambit, and this is a gambit, so like three times, basically I'm saying, go ahead and attack my king. Yeah. <laughs> I'm basically using my king as a bait to attack, to, to let white attack over here. And that's not a useful thing to do, usually people don't do that. Anyway, next move. Oh, now I guess. And at this point in time, I have a tremendous tax ahead of me over here. And it's extremely difficult for me to defend. So let's see how it happens. When there's a high pressure, you have to neutralize. So neutralize, do a trading. I can do three things. I can do King capture, rook capture, or people ignore, or just ignore it altogether and do one move here and protect that. So this is puzzle number two, I believe. Yeah, puzzle number two, and this is the answer. Rook takes bishop, and then of course queen goes there, threatening this part. But if I take it with King, you know, that's going to be problematic over there, so. This is in view of that one over here. And that's, that's this is the tricky part over here because as you can see, the knight is pretty much invulnerable. So I have to be very clever over here at this point over here. Maybe I should put it this sound up as a puzzle, but <coughs> never mind, keep going. And that's very, very powerful move by White. Uh, strangely enough, the computer only gives a 1.2 evaluation, which means to say, yes, White has an advantage, but not overwhelmingly so. And that's it. very interesting because I give White three chances, you know, to attack me, like three gambits move to attack me, and it's only ha have slight advantage. It doesn't have an overwhelming advantage. So that's very interesting over there. Uh, let's keep going. Close it up. This is very interesting move, and I think I use this position as a thumbnail, because yes, that's very uh, intimidating, you can say. Except It's not really effective. Get slightly more advantage uh, than before, but that's about it. <laughs> yep, check over there. And 
normally this is a bad situation to be with a uh, rook and queen over here usually that's usually that's a bad situation to be but it's not it it's a bluff really so next move and yeah extremely deadly over there uh, attack three times defended twice one with the king so this is puzzle number three over here that should I do when in doubt do three so uh, first I trade the knight then I trade the uh, rook and if I can somehow take this knight and move the rook over here I will win if white can attack and gain advantage before I move the rook out white will win so the question is can white attack me before I can move the rook out over there that's a big question that's just a very definite question this is puzzle number four over here has to best the queen basically has to control these squares because the knight control these squares over here and the queen is currently protected so the, the knight can go here but I can just take the queen over there and uh, one text on and just take the rook out and I will win so that's the move that's not a move. That's not a move. That's not a move. That's not a move. And draw by repetition. So I cannot take the rook out, but what cannot attack me either? Position is a draw. Which is very interesting because I did invite white to attack my king, you know, three times. So the fact that White fails to meet me. Basically, that's a very big disappointment for White, and I enjoy it thoroughly. Even though I do not win, I enjoy it. I enjoy this game thoroughly. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.